All right, guys, so welcome back. Today marks a special episode because today we are headed into the final section, the final side character, if you will, that once we conquer his, his loyalty, right? Once we get this man to join us, we will finally get to take down Anton. So I'm going to go ahead and say we probably have about three, four more episodes. One of the biggest complaints I've been seeing about this game is that it's like 30 hours long. And I'll be honest, I feel like Ubisoft has been doing this for a, for a good amount of years now. I, I feel like they do overextend their games with, with missions that don't really need to be there. And I feel like if they, they got that and made it into a shorter game, 10, 15 hour game, I feel like it might be a better product. I still love the games. That's why I play them, obviously. But that, that's just my perspective. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. And I hope you are enjoying Far Cry 6. I did a giveaway on my Twitter. By the time you guys are watching this video, I might or might have not done the or announced the winner. But I will once I get home. Because by the time you're watching this, I'm probably not home yet. All right. So right now... I am actually going to go ahead and go to the journal and we're going to go to meet the legends. This is going to be the last one. So make contact with the old legends of 67 in El Este. The legends of 67 revolution now live in the highest mountains in Eastern Yara. So obviously if we go to the map. The last legend that we have is El Tigre. I don't know how this SVD is going to do, but the stats are pretty bad. But what I will do is give us some modifications. And, and see how it stacks up after the modifications. Because in reality, the reason why our sniper is so good is because of all the modifications that it has. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right, so here we have improves weapon damage to enemies below you. And we also have another weapon mod slot, thankfully, which improves the magazine size, which we could do. And also, what is this? Ooh. Improves the reload speed. Yeah, let's go for that. So here we have. This is the special one that we unlocked. Which looks fucking phenomenal. I think this is actually a mod. You see, if, if we get this, I think we can. Oh, we could. Oh, we could still use the skin. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Yes. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay. That is actually really fucking good. Okay. That's the flamethrower. We've seen this before. And then we've got the SVD. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. This shit is nasty, dude. I should have been scanning some of the other helicopters I've seen. I think I've only seen a different one. One different type. But... Remember, guys, if you scan them, you unlock them, which is amazing. Take a little sip of Cuban coffee. So why not? Today's a good day. Ah, let's go. So I think this is the hardest region. When I played this game um, early that I brought you guys a video, if you guys remember... We, we, we brought you one video here to the channel, but there was a lot more that I recorded that I was able to share, um, but it was just random parts of the world, right? It wasn't like chronological order or anything like that. It was... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh oh here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. As I was saying, I recorded different parts and they weren't in chronological order. They were just, they would, the team would just spawn me in different areas. And I have to say the area that we're going to now was definitely the hardest. This is the area where, yeah, I felt like it was the hardest. The reason I didn't bring it, you know, I didn't bring other videos is because I didn't want to spoil Far Cry when the full game came out. Like if I had like five videos of Far Cry prior to the game coming out, when the game came out, the videos just weren't going to perform as well, right? So, I... That's why I didn't do it. But I, I actually had a lot of reserved gameplay. Which I thought about, but... 
I didn't. And now I'm talking too much. So I'm just gonna. Eleste. I'm just gonna shut up. Okay, cool. Woohoo! I wanted to do that. Just just because. It's getting a little hot out here, man, you know? Wanted to go in for a swim. This is gonna be kind of jungly, I feel. The last area was beachy. The first area was beachy. Then we had like the swamp and there's already people being hung here as decoration. All right, we are not in a happy, we are not in a happy place, ladies and gentlemen. This is not good. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into here? I did watch myself here. Whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Where's that uranium? Hostages. There's a little bit of uranium here. Watch out. There's also a sniper there. But unluckily for him. I got myself an SVD sniper. Oh man, this sniper is nice. <laughs> Holy crap. Yes. Uranium. Give it to me. Alright, I'll check it out. This is what we're gonna do. You guys ready? Yeah, you're not ready for this. I'm telling you. You got you guys are not ready for this. You are not ready for this. Okay? Oh man, this sniper feels delicious. This sniper feels so darn good. It is magnificent. There we go. You guys are free, man. Claro que sí, man. Que vuelta, como que no, cojones. Dale. All right, so our job here is done, boys. Rank eight, baby. Let her burn. <laughs> I I just wanted right. to. Do, I'm sorry. I just wanted to do that. I don't know. Oh, I <laughs> just freed him. You just ran him over, you buffoon. This man's a savage. I just freed that poor soul. He had been tormented forever. And here you come. You just ran him over. Why? Because you just had to fucking do it, didn't you? You monster. All right, guys. We're, we're just going to go to where we have to. We're actually still pretty far. I think this guy's going to be on top of the mountain. So, that's where we're going. Welcome to El Este. This area was definitely very interesting. Oye, Clara. I'm near El Este. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? This is the land where legends are born, Danny. The 67 revolution started in El Este. El Tigre, La Quimama, Lorenzo, Lobo, they led the guerrillas who overthrew Castillo's father, Gabriel. Libertad is taking you out a full circle. And they know I'm coming to give them the good news. El Tigre is very, very excited. Promise. Mm. I just hope he's a good guy. Oye, Clara. Guess who just found where all the coffee is made in Yara? It's no joke, Danny. This is where the army forces farmers to give up their harvests or get thrown into the camps. Castillo grows rich from the profits and the people starve. You want to stop it? Take the oil powering the factory. And while you're at it, take the fucking factory too. Well... El Tigre? That's me. Who wants me that kid Clara mentioned? Libertad's chosen one. I'm not a kid. Of course not. You're baby tigre. And don't worry, I'll make sure you don't end up one of Benitez's trophies. Who's Benitez? Head of Castillo's Navy, a real sea monster. She likes to hang traitors like fish for all of El Este to see. Pan carajo. Well, I'm in El Este now. I love it. <laughs> all of it. You, uh... 
Have a long night? The rum and coke was flowing last night, baby Tigre. Minus the coke. Been there. I'm sending you some photos. Should help you find us. Is that a crab rock? See. Si. Call me when you get there. And bring <laughs> grappling gear. You're going to need Whoa. it. Now oh, that's get a go. moving up our mountain. We can't wait to meet you, baby Tigre. Baby Tigre. Oh yeah, El Tigre. I'm at the crab rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells, sharp claws. They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to La Revolution. See, I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain, very easy. A guerrilla must be sure-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Binga. All right, so we got to take this the view from the waterfall was this creepy. way. I'm actually, oh, wow. I'm actually regretting not putting the scope earlier. The scope is amazing. And it's got the little red dot, which is even easier to snipe enemies with. Hi there, pup. Oh, wow. Oh, holy smokes. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. Oh, that is beautiful. Man. El Tigre. I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. So is a handful of grenades. <laughs> the waterfall ran red that day. You know we saw the blood. And from the soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. I realize that if I get the flamethrower, I might be able to burn some of the things in some of the missions that I haven't been able to before when I run out of Molotovs. So that's why I chose it, to be honest. Also, goats, they shit all over the place. Trust me, I know. Ooh. Wait, where do I go here? Ah, I see. I like this. He's making us do all of this crap. I'm kind of glad my helicopter got taken down because if it didn't, we wouldn't have been able to do this. We wouldn't have been able to do what? that. We wouldn't have been able to do this. Ooh, climb up the vine. This is cool. This feels quite adventurous, if I do say so myself. I think I got to use the zip line. became a famous hiking trail for sweaty touristas. They'd visit our camp, with their shit everywhere, take photographs of us like we were animals in a zoo. So, we might have accidentally lit a few dynamite sticks and... And I might have accidentally on Bro, I almost fucking killed myself, you maniac. <laughs> you guys are crazy fuck. I love him. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I wish this game had more of this than anything else. Like, this whole... Like, uh... I don't want to say parkour, because it's not really parkour, but it is kind of... But just ways that you have to find to get to certain places. Like Uncharted has that a lot. And I feel like it's just fun. I feel like more games need to do that. To be honest. Oh, who killed the... Oh. What happened to the goat? Let's make sure he's resting in peace. That is all I'm here. Disappear up here. For peace. It would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my uh I'm not gonna waste it. Oh, I don't have a suppressor on this gun, I just realized. Damn, 
I just realized I do not have a suppressor on it. I'm kind of crazy. Hold up. Oh, I'm got... What? Am I insane? Did I not put a suppressor on this thing? Oh, God. Wow. Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Oh. Guerrillas are like sharks. That's cool. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one <laughs> dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us, it's our actions. It's like therapy. Oh, what? Who's this guy? Some sort of saint? Oh, that's a statue. I thought that was him. I'm at the statue. A dear friend killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two <laughs> bottles of rum. One for me and one for Lobo. You never live to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! Si te acuerdas de esto, eres viejo. Mm, that's funny. Always the first to raise his fist against injustice. Lobo never saw the end of the revolution. He fell before the final assault of Esperanza. His monument was raised by the legends of 67 in his memory. Rest now, friend. The fight is won. Now get down here. You're missing all the fun, baby tigre. <laughs> baby tigre. I like this guy, man. He's cool. I like how they've added different personalities to every character, you know? It's very nice. But we're gonna arrive in style. Woohoo! Patri Patriotas peak. Alright, I just wanna make sure that we actually have a fast travel point here, because I'm not doing this crap all over again. Why don't you do something about it? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Dali, 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 I said it. Donate them pesos. I ain't donating shit. Damn, he's old as oh, hell, huh? El tigre. <laughs> what a Danny! <laughs> oh, God. What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Now we'll do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on! Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. Oh God, of course. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. I easy, Mama. Her piece doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. <laughs> and of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Danny Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on her side. Heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby tigre. <laughs> what the fuck? I like this. Man, I'm... You know, <clears throat> I have a feeling right now that I just want to describe it. It's, it's that feeling when you're getting close to the end of a game and then you learn to appreciate it more. I don't know. Clara. 
I've met the lessons. <laughs> Look at this dude. And Tigre is the only one on board with me. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes. Alright, so... Um, I just want to make sure where everything is here in this camp. Let me see here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, say it Alright, here we have... We need to do this. We need to do... Fishing Hut, Hunter's Lodge. Build space to house the fighting force for those bandidos. Enlist more recruits. I'll do this. Can you use power tools? You <laughs> say yo, but whenever it's my turn to keep watch, I worry you're snoring. Oh wow! Get us you just unlocked a bow like that? Wow! Oh, holy smokes! Look at this stuff here. Ah, oh, so this is if we get. Wow. That is nice. Ah, baby Tigre. Perfect timing. Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. Remember the three guerrilla pimps? Always be moving. Always be on guard. Always kill your enemy before they kill you. All right, so what we could do instead of um instead of this you know what forget it i'm just gonna use it and then we'll we'll change it out we'll use it for a little bit we never know when shit's gonna hit the fan so we'll use it all right there's some sort of landing pad around here i want to say that up here we might be able to get the chopper yep there it is excellent 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 absolutely wonderful Where's the plane? I think it's somewhere down here. Wait, where? Oh. <laughs> Shit, it's right here. Oh, look at this. Very nice. Very nice. I dig it. All right, here we go, boys. Woo yes. That's how we do it in style, baby. That's how you bust a U-turn right there. But as I was saying, this is the type of game that when you start finishing it and you know you're getting close to the end, you, you start realizing, damn, I'm going to miss this game when it's over. I really am. Baby Tigre. Wow. <laughs> this looks like they drop. What a mess. This is too easy. Que vola. Where are you? Oh my god. Where la moral. Vola. And the leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech. Yeah. This is property of libertad. Ah, libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Uh, you're a little crazy here. Relax. Three, four. Nice throw. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh-huh. Company! Over there! 
By the chopper! Batter up! Alright, alright, hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, I guess this comes in handy because we don't have a suppressor, so this is good. This is course good stuff. Nice, baby. Maybe this ain't no problem. This ain't no problem. This ain't no problem, bro. Keep pushing them back. It will burn. Oh no, I'm gonna burn. That was that was pretty that was pretty dumb. Sorry. Oh, this is easy. There we go. Sorry, boys. Fire is the ultimate weapon. All right, let me let me get some some metal here. That car didn't blow up. That is actually crazy. Oh, there it goes. It was inevitable. Don't give up. We're close. Got a dude over there. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! whoa that almost fucking hit me. Huge <laughs> mistake. What is that? A chopper? Ah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. But Yelena needs these supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss. Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring this to the legends. Libertad wants the legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara thinks they're dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral thinks they're full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. Tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Come on, bro. Get out the car. Let's go. We don't got time for this nonsense. Take Let's go. Take care of her, mijito. Dale, viejo. Mueve de cojones. Vamos para allá. ¿Qué está pasando? Vámonos. Here we go. Taking the off road. Yep, this is not it. This ain't it, Chief. This is this is not recommended. This is definitely not recommended. But you know what? We're Cubans and we do shit our way because a la pinga. It's just the way it is. All right, baby. Santo Domingo. <laughs> That's funny. Seems like we have a little chest upstairs. What happened here? Is it on the roof? I see a chest here. Where is it? Did I miss it something? What? Oh, 
Hold on, hold on. My mind is playing tricks on me. Oh, it's this. Oh my god. Alright, so that's the chopper we need to take. I'm pretty sure of it. Easy peasy, bro. Chorizo. Chorizo, go. Go do your thing, baby. Let's go. Dog. Oh god. Alright, well I scared the dog. Chorizo. Don't worry. This sniper's the best, bro. And I think it's honestly, it has a lot to do with the scope. Chorizo, you took too long, man. I get desperate. Like you just arrived, you just got here right now. Seriously. You know what? Go, go fight that big dog, Chorizo. You go kill him, okay? I'm rooting for you, pal. I I'm rooting for you. We gotta go deliver this bad boy. Holy crap. Oh, this has flares. Nice. Wow, this has flares. Alright, so now we gotta go and take this back here. Perfect. Nani, be careful. There's an enemy chopper creeping the skies nearby. Just make sure you're not underneath when I shoot it down. Tell me there was no other man around to help that poor woman lift that crate up. Danny, I'm ashamed. Danny, you got the supply. <gasps> Palapinga, el tigre, feast of the revolution. You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señor? <laughs> Honron. <laughs> Honron is like home run. La mora. I think. Honron. Terroristas. I think so. Moron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Bio Vida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Morale. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. A quien le importa. Or maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. That actually went pretty smooth, not gonna lie. That went pretty damn smooth. Can I do some pull-ups here? Yo, those ought to be the biggest fucking coconuts I've ever seen in my life. What is up with that? That is not very realistic. <laughs> Bro, what is that? Bro, those are the biggest coconuts I've seen ever, I swear. There's my baby But it does mean I can repair some of the damage they've done. They fought off a lot of soldados to get those supplies here. Which means they put targets on our backs now. Oh my god, those are some big ass coconuts. I'm used to having a target on my back. 
It's been so long, I wouldn't even know what to do with the second death. Okay, just making sure. Alright. Reload this bad boy. I've got our next move. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too. Even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVira to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, mm. and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre, and we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. All right. Hope you Let's have good camera skills. What do you pick? Picture it didn't happen. <laughs> no filter. Picture it didn't happen. Alright, I'm gonna use the SMG one more time if shit gets crazy. I do want to switch to the bow. I feel like we need to talk. I haven't used it enough, Ooh, but obviously we gotta keep going. Mm, it's actually right ahead. Nice. I like this strip, man. This 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 little airstrip is badass. A little inclination and everything. I like it. seeing that random like health bar there <laughs> i don't know what that is maybe it's the chopper's health bar i don't know but attention unidentified pilot this airspace oh, is restricted God. land now what all right let's go up fuck it Uh, my parachute is not land. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? My parachute didn't deploy. My wingsuit didn't deploy. What just happened? All right, let me use my phone. Can I use my phone from here? Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. Huh. I never thought he saw her at that BioVita place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye on her. I almost didn't make it. I'm worried something terrible has happened. This is what the murderers of 67 fought to Yara during the revolution. <laughs> All right. Okay. She just lost her baby. He laughed at her for crying. Okay, so taking photos. Search the bio via the facility for evidence. Okay, take out your phone and use R1 to take a photo. So, yeah. I can't. Oh, shit! And fuck you! <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. Oh no. 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 Oh no, not the alarm. No, 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 not the alarm. Over there! Going for backup! No! Fuck off for backup! No! God! Oh my god! I almost shit the bed! Oh my god! There's something under the water. Oh my god, I almost shit the bed. 
I almost really almost shit the bed. Alright, we gotta do this quick, dude. We still got a couple of engineers over there. And they ain't gonna play nice, I'll tell you that much. Note, hey, F uh, Federico, you dropped your access card. I found it in the dirt. Don't find me if you want it back. I'll be near room B02. I've got a bad feeling about this place. Lights on. Wonder if mm. anybody's home. As long as we don't get captured again, we'll be all right, bro. We'll be all right. Reading guns. What are they doing to these poor people? Bon, they're using humans like rats. What are they testing? I need more pigs. Bruh. That's fucking nuts, bro. And it's all for Anton Castillo. With this. Bro, that's wild. They're using him as guinea pigs. <laughs> Oh, we know Castillo's sick, right? We saw it on the last episode. He's sick for sure, so. I wish I could automatically pick up the parts and I didn't have to, like, hold square. It's kind of annoying. Binga. So many. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. <laughs> what the fuck? Things. This guy's crazy. Binga. They just dump so him there? Man. Wow, dude. That is nutty. Subject 309, female. Subject did not respond well to the treatment. Latest evaluation revealed hallucinations, trans transient globe amnesia, global amnesia, and total psychotic breakdown. Heart failure last night. Subject 285, male. Yesterday's subject showed a dramatic signs of improvement. Today's subject indicated total blindness and bleeding from the lungs. We predict 48 hours until transportation to Paria Zone 3 near the water will be necessary. These people are sick. Completely latest to report all suffers from deterioration of the skin. Really Severe sick. heart palpitations. Three, two, three. To be Lower half of the body paralysis. Subject 87, day 13. Tumors have been completely eradicated. Subject's blood, however, indicates lethal levels of toxicity. Subject 34, female. Difficult to determine if severe internal bleeding was due to treatment or subject's recent miscarriage. To be transported. Wow, that's. Oh, man. Wow. This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. Wow. That's a rip. El Tigre. I got the pics. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay. Tell those 
Fortos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo. I took pictures of that place Horon was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. <laughs> yeah. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste? That's the man. You shoot the tree. Shoot the tree. I gotta speak to Honron. 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 It's a weird to word. Talk. To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. <laughs> We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. Swing by El Agujero. It's La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Right. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. A new revolution. Revolution! All right, we're getting out of here. Back on my horse. Well, not really my horse. My air horse. A plane. Let's get this. All right. Let's go! I love the domino tattoo he has in his friggin' arm. I don't know why. I like it. Danny, where you at? Getting close, I think. So you know, Yelena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spying all over there. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's mm. network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. All right, there we go. Oh, wow. Fuego <coughs> coat. That's probably for fire. All right, so check it out. Here we go. We, ac we actually had to get off the plane. Um, because it got taken down, of course, as per usual. So now we're, we're relatively close. I should take out that freaking Sam turret in the middle of the map here. So I can be able to fly easier because these areas are actually really freaking far. This is amongst one of the biggest areas in the whole map. So this region, this whole chapter of characters, the missions might be maybe a little bit further than normal. I don't know. Somebody just got eaten. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Come on, I need a car, man. Right. Come on, come on, come on, get out, get out, get out. Come on, come on, get out, sucker. Here she is, and you can't even see the bullet holes. Thank you. Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a pic. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember. Curfew. Okay, this is in Malecon from Cuba. This is in Malecon from Cuba. This is crazy. I have a picture of this with my brother when I was a kid. Taking a picture right here. Wow. Go. Go. Get out. Go. Wow. Wow, dude. 
Oh my god, that is so cool. There it is. That's right here. Perfect. We're in here, right? Hey. Oh shit. That's a door. I gotta get the code. Muerto el perro. Se acabó la rabia. Muerto el perro. Se acabó la rabia. Oh man, the, the the accent is a bit off there. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice to meet you too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Down the stairs. Hmm. Well, this is nice. I need six volunteers. I'll talk to my people, honey. Be Jorge and Anna's guns are probably on the ship. You're Yelena? Mierda. Yelena Morales. Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use Lamarel's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people, then I'll think about it. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool little base down here. If you want a ride to the ship, there's a farmer at Carbonell Farm. He can take you with his chopper. Just say you're with La Moral. Someone upstairs can tell you how to get there. Better hurry. I don't know how much time we have. Dr. Libertad is doing the rescue. For real? Libertad? No shit. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. All right, let's go, baby. Vamos, viejo, muévete, cojones. Take all Dirasol. Be nice to him. Dirasol. Wow, that is pretty. Dirasol, sunflower. That's what that means. That is nice. <laughs> I mean, I prefer my zebra, but hey, this is nice. Whoa. You're with Libertad? I am. I think it would be great if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get replaced with three more. And when La Moral people die, there is no one replacing them. Nadie. On top of that, these farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We try. None of those abuelos want to fight. I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They built it from the parts of once we shut down. Ding. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? Some are. Some are with Castillo. You think we can get them on our side? What's going on? You're with La Morale, right? Yelena called. Do you want to lift to that boat? Let's do this. Get in. Let's go. Name's 
Calixto! Danny, I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing his rescue as a favor. I'm with Liberta. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That's the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. Couple months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. Wow. So what does La Moral do? They tracked and killed every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and slitting their throats while their families are asleep. Assassin shit. Oh, assassin These shit. Smart, coordinated, and cold blooded. Sounds like it. Ah, so that's the that's ship over there. Pass. We keep tabs on military convoys passing through there and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These keys are on the ball. The Elena is more organized than the military. La Moral's got our back. When Admiral Benitez started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. To kill the alarm. That's the ship. I can't get you any closer. This is great. Gracias, mi amigo. Good luck saving those people. All right, here we go. Add me all three reinforcements. Oh, God, that was such a fail. That was such a fit. Oh. 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 Holy fuck. Oh. Oh, what has just happened? What have I done? Uh. Yeah, we're screwed. We are screwed. We are screwed. We are screwed. We are so screwed. We are so screwed. My God. Oh, God. Well, we got we got to deal with it. It is what it is. I just killed a fucking civilian. I'm an idiot. Okay, that is glitched out. <laughs> okay. Oh man, this went this went sideways. I'm going, man. Let me. I I I gotta get. I gotta kill these people. Let's 
give me a sec. Just give me a sec, guys. Nice. Alright, baby. This is what I've been wanting to do forever. Classic Far Cry bow. Where is this going? You know what? I'm going down. Fuck it. That's it. We're going down. We're going down. They're already gone. The soldiers are no longer looking for me. I mean, they are, but they're not. I will free you, my friend. Rescue the hostages, and I, I killed one of them. I opened that bad boy up. What's opening? Oh. Oh, they're the crane? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. This Jesus is Admiral Christ. Benitez. To the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now. Nah, I don't think so. Sorry, I don't... I don't oh. oh, God. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I can if I can hit these. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hit these. I'm just not gonna be able to hit them with this. Okay. 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 You know what? There's no problem. Oh god. Oh god. All right. So maybe 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 getting into trouble earlier was was not a big deal because regardless, right now we're fucked. Oh man, I can't even on the other side now. Bro, are you serious? Somebody took it down. I, I couldn't get a little turret. The boat should be there any minute. Keep it up. Alright. She used the boats to escape. Where are the boats? Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Go. Oh, no. We gotta wait for me to get in here. Are you crazy? Alright. Mount on the gun. Got this. Oh, you're screwed, man. Oh, God. Oh, this is hardcore shit. Perfect. 
Google. That was fun. It was a little bit messy. <laughs> if I just say to myself, it was a little messy indeed, but it was fun. But it was fun. That's the best Supremo right there, 100%. The blood of Taino, in commemoration of Taino who died defending Yara, their home from the Spanish between 42, 92 and 50, 32. Bloody war destroyed the Taino people and on their blood, the soil is still, okay. Whoa. Nobody can stop La Moral! Nadie! So you think I'll sobrevive? Yelena, it's done. Your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? Come back to El Aguero. Shit is getting real. Alright, I don't know what the purpose of that was, but that was cool. I'm sure I can find something in there. So now we gotta go back to Yelena. We're gonna travel back to her and, and see what the deal is. Clara. I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard, they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. La Moral has a bad rep, and I don't want Libertad's name to be dragged down with him. I'll keep my eyes open. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I put it away, sir. Sir, hot, sir. Sir. Sir, what is what is going on here, sir? What is your problem? What have I ever done to you? Okay, there's a fucking tank coming. I gotta go. <laughs> Shit. I'm out of here. All right. I forgot that the guards were out during this time. You yeah, know, I gotta be careful. Oh my god. You got a chopper too? Oh my goodness. How do I get there? Through here? Oh god! Go, go, go. And my battlefield is right here. Watching this goddamn door. All right. Take one out of this shit. We're finally back. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and. Skip in school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez, Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That motherfucker's crazy. 
So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups! Are the first step to victory! The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. I like these young daddy ass. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. Hmm. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. All right, let's Castillo get it. has many bullets. Hey, Daddy. But we will have Listen Carlito. Up. And Carlito only needs one. All right, so... Oh, I gotta speak to him again? Well, I gotta get there and then speak to him over there. All righty, guys. We are here again. I think this might be filled with enemies, so... Yep. I already see a camera. And an alarm, an alarm system. El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourist. Oh. oh, okay. Cool. We don't have to worry about Oh, shit. A suitcase full of dreams. This is the suitcase Anton's mother, Yolanda, packed when she and her 13-year-old son Anton were forced by Espinosa's terrorists to move to prison. It would be Anton's home until adulthood, where he uh, pruned tobacco the yarn people. Although surrounded by injustice and high walls, he never stopped dreaming of Yara becoming a paradise once again. He studied hard to become and learn man fit to be president. Okay. Oh. That is worth a lot of money, Mr. Anton. And this is the first line of Yara. Gabriel Castillo was the first Yaran president to modernize Yara and bring the island wealth. His philosophy and his vision for Yara was been, uh, has been fully inherited by his son, Anton Castillo, president chosen by the people to restore Yara to his true glory it experienced under Gabriel. So the glory it experienced under Gabriel. Never, gain, never again may the guardship, uh, guardianship of the Castillo line be forsaken to ruin our okay. Oof. Intimidating. Very intimidating. Died. Is that Diego? Poor kid never had a chance. Yarons have understood that the Castillo family are the keepers of its destiny. Now that the true Yaron has been restored to government, Yara can begin to rebuild what the murders of 67 damaged and delayed for so long. Hmm. Oh, man, I'm so intrigued as to what's gonna happen with that with that kid, dude. El Tigre! Is Carlito a fucking tank? Por supuesto! What were you expecting? He's Carlito! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? This suitcase holds an 18th century rifle guarding it. <clears throat> guarding it from exposure damage since the 19th century to belong to the Castillo family. It first belonged to Guillermo Castillo who has used, who used it to defend his holdings and therefore the, prosper, the prosperity of early Yada during bloody agricultural rebellions. He passed it down to Gabriel Castillo who has placed it in trust here for all the true, true Yadans to enjoy. It is a symbol of the Castillo devotion to improving and defending Yara. Oh. Look who's there. I might have to take these guys out. Hold on. If I want that weapon, I'm gonna have to take take these these fucking guys out. Hola, baby. He's right. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Hey, 
Should probably do a pamphlet check. Hola. Hola, dímelo, a serie. A serie, ¿cómo yo me subo ahí arriba? There we go, coño. There's a guard coming. All right. Well, that was fucking dumb. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. Okay, God. God, just when everything was so calm, I have to go and fuck it all up. You got, you gotta wait, man. Carlito gotta chill. Hold on, I gotta get this 19th century beauty here. Oh, whoa! Look at that. That is fucking badass. All right, bamono. Oh, let's go, let's go. I gotta repair this. Oh God. Baby Tigre, let's go! Fix up Carlito and blast open the gate! Get in, get in, get in! Oh, hell yeah. Carlito! <laughs> oh my god. Baby Tigre, you did it! You should have said from the beginning Carlito was a tiger. Oh my god. Okay. I got music going on here. I hope this doesn't get uh this doesn't get me in trouble. Because the music I think is actually legit ski. But I don't know. We're just gonna keep going. There's a lot of background noise. We should be alright. A lot of explosions going on. Yes sir! <laughs> oh shit. I need to get Kalito to the cave. Oh wow, I totally missed that. So I can just run him over too. Oh, that's badass. What's the uh show control? Oh, here we go. Primary weapon, secondary weapon. Oh dude. No way. Hold on, you ain't fucking around. Alright. <laughs> this man took him out. Sorry. Not not really. This crazy. This shit rips. <laughs> Listen, I love another story about you, Lobo, the legends, Todo, but I'm busy right now. Oh no. I'm sure he'll take care of the people behind us. Are we supposed to go through here? I don't know, man. This looks a little dangerous. Oh god. Bro, oh, there's legit music playing in the background. I hope I don't get hit by that. <laughs> Leave it to this old crazy fuck to name a tank I leave. Dale, but where are we going? Well, come on, you gotta keep going, bro. You're wanted by the Castillo forces. Are you insane? We're almost there. Almost there. Get out the way, dude. Get out the way. Get out the way. I'm so sorry! Get the there! Okay! Okay, man. Sometimes Danny sounds like Scarface. I don't know if you've kind of put one and one together, but. Or two and two together. But to me, he's trying to portray to sound like Scarface. Okay, man. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. 
That's right. The geriatrics are here. So it's got a little. You came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Oh, <laughs> what a party pooper, man. Come on. What are you doing? War is over when we are all free. Since when did I like start that. quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit. And all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through. Not a leaf. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for us. I want to see the new weapon that we got, though. <clears throat> I think it looked pretty good. Let me take a look at it. I don't even know which one where it belongs, but it was a rifle, right? Ooh. Oh, that is nice. That is real nice. It's got poison. All right, guys. We are gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Far Cry 6. We are getting very, very close to the end of this game. And wow, I did not know we had flashlights. Alright, guys. I don't want to stop playing, but I got to. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. And I hope to see you on the next one.